Considering how beautiful this glass effect is, I can't believe how damn simple it is. It's using a plugin called Crates Glass, which does all of these refractive aberration effects in just a single click. So Apple released Liquid Glass, which is a new interface design for their iOS system, and it looks beautiful, but it's a very difficult thing to replicate in your motion graphics, which inspired the creation of this plugin. It boils down about 30 steps into just one. It's really quick, it's beautiful, and it's really fun to use as well. You will find that the glass is extremely customizable. The main thing you want to change will be in the material settings. Here you can change the blurring amount if you want a more transparent or frosted glass, which just looks so beautiful when you get these contrasted areas. You can see the light is kind of warping the image in such a beautiful way. You can also change the refractive index of the glass, which basically changes how intensely light bends through it. But more easily, there's a distortion strength multiplier at the top to get uh, an easier amount of control. The Fresnel bias controls the proportion between reflections and refractions. You can change the color of the light that gets absorbed, which is a multiplying effect. You can even make the absorption color a bit more dynamic by setting the colors on the layer itself. So for example, if I apply a gradient here and then a colorama effect, then I set it to multiply. I'll set the opacity really low, something like that. All I then have to do is set the input as the absorption. Set that checkbox to true, and you can see now the glass has a dynamic color applied to it. And you can use this to create a stained glass window effect. You can make your glass look even glassier by enabling the aberration effect, and this splits the spectrum of light in slightly different directions, creating this beautiful, colorful effect that you see in the real world. Now, let me show you something really cool. If you go to the textures drop down and enable effects and masks, this allows you to modify the glass input layer. For example, you can apply a fast box blur, and when you increase the amount, you can see the glass begins to merge together, almost like a liquid. Additionally, you can add a turbulent noise effect to the layer. If you go back to the glass shape drop down and increase luma bump, you actually see the turbulent noise begins to influence the shape of your glass. If you set it to block, you create these tiled glass panes. It's just a really fun way to change and customize your glass. Now, to really make sure that these glass shapes pop, especially in dark places, we've added an edge highlights dropdown. If you increase the brightness, you can see that the light from objects is being cast onto the edges of the shapes here. So now if you follow the red shape here, it's realistically following the red layer. It's really cool. And I love how you can see the reflection as well. So it's all combined together to create this one seamless effect. You can adjust the width of your edge highlight to get a crispy edge or a really chunky one. You can also change the light distance. So if I set it to a low value, you can see only the nearby sources of light are illuminating the edges. But as soon as I increase this value, eventually this green layer starts to reflect off the edge here. For a really crispy edge, you can reduce the blurring amount. And you can see how this creates a really accurate reflection on these edges. But if you want to smooth it out, you can increase blurring to maybe 100 to create a more even and diffuse edge. Now let's imagine you've created an awesome looking glass effect. But if you zoom in, you can see these really crunchy looking edges. This is where the image cleanup dropdown comes in. The blur edges slider allows you to soften out any of these heavily distorted areas. 
you can control the width of the blurring, as well as adding some additional anti-aliasing. If you want to maximize how blurred it can become, you can clamp the edge blur to a particular value. Additionally, we have edge compression. This helps to push back on any of these really intense edges here. And of course, if you need to, you can blur the background with the final slider to create this in-focus appearance. There are some additional utility like only allowing the foreground to be rendered, as well as enabling linear mode, which prevents any light from being clamped in the image. For convenience, here's how to use the plugin from start to finish. Your glass can either be text or a solid. If your glass is going to be text, such as this here, make sure you pre-compose it into its own composition. If your layer is a solid, create the solid and then apply anything to give it a shape. In this example, I'll apply the circle generator and then I'll duplicate it so we have two circles. Make sure the second one is set to a normal blending mode. You could do this multiple times and each circle can have a slightly different size. Now let's create an adjustment layer to create the glass. You can find the plugin in Production Crate Motion Graphics crates glass. In the texture dropdown, select your layer. In this case, I'll select the text pre-composition and you can see it appear here. I'll just make it a little bigger so we can see what's happening. Now, once again, you can choose one of the presets that we have available. Uh, there's a lot to choose from. Bubble, diamond is really cool. You can also set your texture to the solid layer just make sure that you enable effects and masks. And once again, if you want to, you can apply the cool blurring trick so that the bubbles merge together into a single shape. You can even use an image with transparency in the pre-composition to get an easy stylish logo effect. You may want to adjust the glass shape settings. This allows you to change things like the beveling, which is automatically added to create this kind of refractive pattern. The bevel shape controls the shape of the gradient at the edge of the beveling. A lower value like two creates a very bubble shape, whereas a higher value creates more of an inverted slope. Smoothing allows you to soften out any of these sharp edges created by the beveling. So when you increase smoothing, you can see how it rounds out those sharp corners. And keep sharp edges allows the smoothness to not interfere with these important edges that creates these very beautiful highlights. And there you go. Very, very beautiful looking glass. I hope you have fun with it. It's incredibly easy to install. Simply go to the Production Crate website, download Portal, and install the LaForge Suite. This is a collection of over 25 awesome plugins for After Effects and Premiere Pro. The glass plugin is available to our Pro Production Crate members, but you can try it out with a watermark. Additionally, we do have some free plugins included, such as Chromatic Aberration, Easy God Ray, ASCII Generator, and Edge Blur. You can join our Discord to ask us any questions. We are always happy to help. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.